This is AutoLine Daily, reporting on the global automotive industry. I am Sean McElroy. It's February 8th of 2019, and now let's get to the news. Hey, would you like to start your own electric car company? It should be pretty easy. Volkswagen says it's willing to share its MEB platform with any car company that wants to use it. The MEB platform is a flexible architecture to accommodate different kinds of EVs. And Tesla says it will share its electric powertrain technology with anyone who wants to use it. So put the two together and bada boom bada bing, you've got an EV without paying a penny for R&D. Well, uh uh-oh, now Renault is turning on Carlos Ghosn. Renault told authorities that it had a sponsorship deal with the Chateau de Versailles for 50,000 euros. And now it found out that the money also paid for Gowen's wedding costs. Gowen threw an extravagant wedding party for his second marriage in 2016 at Versailles, where everyone was dressed up in Marie Antoinette era costumes. Say, remember her? Let them eat cake, she said, of her starving countrymen. But that was before she went to the guillotine. A spokesman for Gowen says that he'll now reimburse Renault the cost of the wedding. The auto industry lost one of its staunchest supporters. John Dingell, the former congressman from Michigan, passed away yesterday at the age of 92. Dingell, a Democrat, was a voice of reason who had a long track record of getting legislation enacted by working with both sides of the aisle. He was equally comfortable talking with corporate executives or factory workers. And he's in the history books as the longest serving congressman ever winning 30 consecutive elections. Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young once sang, won't you please come to Chicago for a ride? Well, coming up next, we'll show you the new rides that just got unveiled at the Chicago Auto Show. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Exxon Mobil. There were a number of new vehicles unveiled in Chicago, and let's start with the new Kia Sportage. As you can see, the styling has been refreshed at both the front and rear. It also adds new convenience and driver assist features. The Sportage has two engine options, a 2.4 liter gas engine or a 2 liter turbo, which are both mated to a 6-speed automatic transmission. It will go on sale sometime in the first half of this year, with pricing to be announced closer to its on-sale date. Speaking of Kia, it revealed pricing for the all-new Telluride. The base two-wheel drive LX model starts at a little under $33,000, including destination charges. A top-of-the-line SX with all-wheel drive will start at about $46,500. The Telluride goes on sale this spring. Volkswagen took the wraps off the performance version of the Jetta called the GLI. In addition to its sportier look, it features a sport-tuned suspension, which lowers the car by about half an inch. It also uses the same brakes as the GTI and Golf R. The Jetta GLI is powered by a 2-liter turbo engine, which can be mated to a 6-speed manual or a 7-speed DCT. Its black interior with red stitching on the steering wheel, shifter, armrest, and floor mats also helps set it apart from the regular model. The new Jetta GLI will start hitting dealer showrooms this spring. Subaru revealed the new legacy. It's now built on the automaker's global platform and comes standard with an updated 2.5 liter boxer engine. XT models are powered by a 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer that cranks out 260 horsepower. Both engines are mated to a CVT and come with stop-start technology. The interior is highlighted by a big 11.6-inch touchscreen for the infotainment system. The new Subaru Legacy hits dealerships this fall. And Nissan refreshed the two-row Rogue Sport. The hood, V-Motion grille, and bumper are all new up front, as is the lighting signature at the rear. ProPilot Assist, Nissan Safety Shield 360, and an updated audio system are new available features as well. The Rogue Sport goes on sale this fall. Say, do you use Waze? Well, the New York City police just slapped a cease and desist order on one of the features that Waze offers. 
And that's coming up next. We all know that cold weather hurts the range of electric vehicles, and now the AAA has put some hard numbers on it. It tested a BMW i3, Chevy Bolt, Nissan Leaf, Tesla Model S, and a Volkswagen e-Golf on a dynamometer, and found that at 20 degrees Fahrenheit, the average range drops by 41% when the heater is on. That means owners have to charge more frequently at those temps, which the AAA found adds $25 more for every 1,000 miles driven compared to when it's 75 degrees outside. But it's not just cold weather. Hot temperatures can hurt too. At 95 degrees Fahrenheit, range decreased 17% with the air conditioning on. Toyota's Total Human Model for Safety software, or THUMBS for short, simulates body injuries caused by crashes. The first version came out in 2000, and it's now showing off the sixth iteration of the software. Updates include internal organ modeling and a new muscle model combined together, which allows it to simulate a variety of occupant postures, including braced and relaxed. As automated systems and vehicles continue to advance, passengers will not always be riding in their traditional positions, and this software will help to understand how that has an impact on injuries. The popular navigation app Waze, which is owned by Google, is under fire from the NYPD. Streets blog reports that the New York Police Department sent a cease and desist letter to Waze demanding that it disable the feature that allows users to warn other drivers about police checkpoints. The NYPD says posting the location of DUI checkpoints could be considered illegal. No legal action has been taken yet, and as of now, it doesn't sound like Google plans to make any changes. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great weekend. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.